Good morning. Happy Friday. Tim in the woods. Tim in the slightly soggy woods this morning. Hopefully I won't get I won't get kind of rained on or hit by a flying squirrel this morning because it is quite um it is quite windy. But it's still it's a lovely it's a beautiful day, beautiful end to the week. And uh, I just want to talk a little bit about what's going on. You know, we've again the the energy has been very intense. For, for a lot of you out there, I, I know that the, there are a lot of changes occurring for many of us in the light camp. A lot of these are as we step onto our our, our ascension pathway and adopt our roles as teachers, leaders, warriors, whatever we've actually incarnated to do. And a lot of this is quite challenging. It's quite um, it, it does initially threaten our 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 comfort zone, <laughs> the, the space that we maybe have been used to for a while, but that's, it's all by design. And David and I, David Essary and myself ran the first of the Archangel events on Monday night. And um, it was different to the kind of events that I usually run or, or that David and I have run before or I've co-opted with Diana Cooper. In so much as that the intention behind the the event was to dedicate a th it was just basically to say thank you and acknowledge the archangels who've been they were very much the beginning of my journey and still are kind of thing it's like the further my my energy gravitates naturally towards the archangels a lot of people connect with the dragons they'll connect with the unicorns but primarily i'm i that that uh, i suppose it's you know if i'm working with and for Archangel Metatron on this ascension process. So that they've always been my first port of call. So it just seemed appropriate for David and I to to dedicate a, a series to the Archangels. And, and if you if you missed it, it's available on recording and the next one will be is coming up soon. All the information is available on my website www.timwild.com. And so First of all, we worked with beloved Archangel Chamuel, who, who was holding the flame of adoration. Now, adoration is the most incredible energy. It ties in with, with, with unconditional love, with gratitude. And we were talking about pouring adoration, the energy of simply adoring. In, in, in many ways, we're giving up. We're given plenty of opportunities at the moment to really not adore what we're doing, okay, or not adore the circumstances that we're experiencing. And this is saying, if you use your spiritual discipline and dedicate a small portion of your day, even five minutes when you wake up, to adoring or pouring adoration into something or someone or some something in your life that you are incredibly grateful for, and just watch and feel the energy grow throughout. And that, so that was a, it was a beautiful start to the event. And then we worked with Archangel Zadkiel for the second half of it. And the reason why I mention this and talking about it this morning is because, of course, Archangel Zadkiel is the Archangel of the Violet Flame. So you will have been very aware and worked with his, his energy and the energy that, that he holds, as well as Saint Germain and um, and Merlin as well was there for 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 the visualization, but we finished as ever by on both invocations during the event. The archangels wanted to use the energy of our group to assist the situation that is occurring on this planet at the moment. So, particularly for Zadkiel, a thirty-three day downpouring of the of the violet flame was called in. I mean, look, this this wasn't just a it wasn't just a little group exercise, the whole planet turned bright violet and we saw this energy coming in. So when the specific groups of, of light workers like, like there were online that night <coughs> dedicate their energy to the circumstances, it is very, very powerful. And of course, this is occurring all over the world. We weren't the only group working on that night. We're not the only group working during the days that our, our our selective groups together are harmonizing and creating such a huge difference at the moment. Now the reason why I, I think that 33 days were given was because it is a sacred number. It is, it, it, for me it's the number that represents or resonates at Christ consciousness. But it's funny because it's also being used at the moment by 
the kind of the other side that it's over the years our symbols and our sacred numbers have kind of been pilfered by those that don't mean quite so well and and they've attempted to add or or kind of use it for their own energy so all we do is we just claim it back <laughs> we use those numbers ourselves and therefore restore them immediately to their, their their the vibration for which they were created it's very simple really and uh so we got this 30 we're five days into this 33 day downpouring of the violet flame and we need it more than ever at the moment the 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 shifts and the changes and the circumstances that are coming through at the moment require transmutation they require instant alchemy they re they are calling for us to make changes or make changes to the way that we're thinking the way that we're viewing things the 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 the, psycholo the, the psychology behind this shift now i was talking very briefly with archangel metatron this morning about you know what what what's the energy that i want to I want to bring to the table today with with my Friday Ascension talk and he said inalienable rights I nearly pronounced that wrong inalienable rights okay now this is a very practical thing this is a very physical thing it's something that all of us are encountering encountering at the moment inalienable rights are your right to exist as a free sovereign human being okay and that doesn't mean that you are free to do whatever you please regardless because of course we're bound by we're bound by the law of one we're bound by the natural laws which are usually you know if you look at it from a common law perspective it's first do no harm you know you bring if you, if you engage this reality with love common sense and a, a sense of heart you know heart-centered purpose then you can do no wrong okay you are going through life assisting helping others evolve, bringing something positive to the table. But what we're talking, what, what is very much up for grabs at the moment is the concept of what we are allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. Because as I've predicted previously, and I said there's a new bag of tricks being opened at the moment by, by, the, by the authorities, call them what you want, the people that are kind of basically pulling the puppet strings with the life of people in society around us and as I, as I as I said there would be new things coming out there would be new opportunities or new invitations to go back to 3d and and, and party <laughs> but um, and party at a lower vibration and so as we move forwards as we move through the gateways that are being presented to us very quickly and very efficiently i might add the the it's okay they're, they're saying to each other right well that hasn't worked these people are waking up they're evolving at an unprecedented rate let's do something else and so they've had whatever's been in store or prepared comes out now the most recent one well, the one that occurred this week, and I, I'm going to use this as a specific example because it is winding people up a great deal, is um, it was announced in the UK that travelling to, to a foreign country has now been made illegal and comes with a £5,000 fine. But what I'm asking everybody to do who's listening to this, if you want to listen to them, then fine. OK, if, if that is, if, if, if it's resonating with you what they're saying then 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 absolutely that's your reality but for those of us that are turning around and going hang on a second like you know <laughs> my 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 ability to travel my ability to move from one place to another is an inalienable right you have to kind of <clears throat> then go into what we are you have to kind of go into the nuts and the bolts of what's actually occurring and it was always presented to me that we would move through this particular gateway by going back to our almost like the root laws or the common laws of the land. Now I've mentioned this previously, but for those of you kind of who go like, oh my God, I can't, I can't move, I can't go anywhere, I can't go abroad to maybe see my parents or my children, uh, I can't go and visit my children for those of us that have kind of moved in various places around the planet. If you look at the second page of your passport, it guarantees you safe passage with a wet ink, wet ink signature. And that is that overrides anything that has been kind of put in as a diktat or a statue or 
or the, the, the kind of set of rules and regulations that were rolled out in March last year. I'm not going to go too much into that. There is a vast amount of information available if people choose to engage with it that put you back in the driving seat, okay? It disengages you completely from all of this oppression, all of this, you can't do this, you can't go here, you must do this in order to continue to function. No, <laughs> if you don't want to, then you don't have to. You simply stay as a sovereign being working with your inalienable right as a human being to exist as a good person. But, you know, you, you, we are going to be moving into a... We got, uh, the societies of the future do not, uh, they are not structured like this. They are not, they're not structured in the way that we are breaking free from. And everything that is being presented is being presented to give us the opportunity to re-empower ourselves, <clears throat> to move from subjugation to sovereignty. So although it is very easy to become angry, outraged and, and, and fired up with, 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 with the, you know, with the holy fires of indignation. It is simply being presented for, as, a, as a lesson or a gateway for us to reclaim this. Okay, these people are providing you with the perfect platform to reclaim your power. Okay, to, re, to say, you know, 10,000 years living at 3D, we're bound by certain shackles and, 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 and rules and regulations. That's enough. We've learned what we've needed to learn and we've signed, we've, we've signed the Ascension document or, or the vast majority of us and we're moving on. So it's the, 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 the terminology that always is presented to us in an age where information is available readily at your fingertips ignorance is a choice so the information is out there and i'm noticing also this <laughs> it's inevitable if you're on social media there is a lot of division you know the division the the kind of um the mr smiths are <clears throat> definitely popping up more than usual at the moment now Ms mr smith is a character from the matrix you know i've, I've I, I love the matrix it's uh I think Keanu Reeves was he was quoted saying it's not actually a film it's a documentary well in in so much as the fact that we are definitely at the moment in the process of unplugging and and quite often when when you've unplugged you're this kind of raw baby-like kind of form of yourself that quickly has to find clothes and skin and and, and ways to you, you know ways to live immediately again and um it's it's very interesting because whenever the matrix or that 3d reality is threatened particularly on <clears throat> on social media or you might find it in a coffee shop or you might find it in a family your family members friends maybe even even sp I've seeing a lot of this occurring with spouses and stuff like this partnerships is mr smith pops up you know you've you've realized something you're taking steps towards your freedom and all of a sudden the, the 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 matrix has stepped up through someone to defend itself and i'm seeing this a lot also especially you know even in my field with 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 teachers and and people that have you know been on the ascension pathway the spiritual pathway for quite a long time it's um noticing there is there are quite a few exchanges of of, of it's very it's very difficult in in some cases because a lot of people don't want to challenge the the status quo for fear of losing popularity and I'm, I'm seeing that occurring you know like okay if i if i don't go along with with the the narrative then maybe people are going to start start gravitating away from me or they'll 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 go elsewhere and everything like that so in many cases the blue tick is more important than integrity but it's um that's by the by it's <clears throat> we're doing what we feel is right in the center of our hearts at the moment we're, mo we're moving forwards regardless it's what i see as a common thread amongst us is once that warrior mantle has been taken on it it doesn't falter it doesn't shake it doesn't matter how many mr smiths pop up it doesn't matter what the criticism level is you you become quite unshakable it's an incredible position of power 
that 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 truth that integrity that 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 soul roar that comes through when you realize that you are on the pathway and we're making the most incredible progress so yeah that is the new bag of tricks that has been opened at the moment in, in <clears throat> from a political point of view it's you're going to see more and more over the next six months is the just the opportunities to free yourself you know whatever they're presenting to you will be ridiculous <laughs> it won't it won't be logical it won't be fair it won't be necessary it will not tally with with what we would equate to being actual proper authentic science it will simply be you something that you are told to do cooperate you know if you don't cooperate there will be consequences when well, actual fact no there won't you just simply stand your ground educate yourself move forward in the light you're not doing anything wrong you are simply living by your heart these are your inalienable rights to do so so yeah i know this is again I've, I've been doing a few of these kind of videos recently and don't don't get me wrong i'm not kind of like um you to do to do this job on a balanced level there has to be a foot in both camps to a certain degree there's the people that are shouting from the rooftops the truth is wake up everybody this is happening that's happening listen to the truth the the basically the truth tells itself there is a vibration running through that resonates at that frequency and it does and what is what's occurring at the moment that's so incredible is that anything that isn't truth is so visible it's got bells on it so it kind of jingles along ringing like, like <laughs> in many ways but the, the 10 years ago we wouldn't have been able to see it we wouldn't be able to feel it like we can feel it because we've had the fifth veil the I was talking about what was going on last um, last August in the lion's gate um, the 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 removal of the fifth veil of amnesia which um, basically makes everybody incredibly sensitive to what they're being presented with so you know uh, although these things happen subtly in many cases now that fifth veil has come away everybody can see feel sense and and resonate very clearly with what's being presented to them so the more we move through this the more everything becomes it becomes really really obvious so yeah, keep on doing what you're doing. And if, if you've had your cage rattled this week by what's going on, learn what you are actually entitled as a human being. Don't worry about what you're being told you must do. Anything that anything that's comes with coercion or with fines is ultimately just part of the invitation to stay engaged in, in that reality you walk free you, you you're only bound by the confines of your own of, of of whatever you place upon yourself okay so hope you have a beautiful weekend i hope you have a beautiful end to the week i'll be back on monday with a powerful walking meditation to start jump start us all into the new week so sending you all loads of love i'll catch up with you soon bye for now